Hey everyone, today we're gonna make a, an immune boosting tea made with fresh ginger, orange, lemon juice, and some fresh basil. Uh, this was requested by one of my viewers, and so if you have a question or a recipe request, I should say, uh, let me know down in the comments of the video. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious tea to ward off those colds and flu right after this. Before I show you how to make the tea, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out and we're always cooking up something delicious and healthy. All right, so let me go over those ingredients. First up, we're gonna have some water, right? We gotta have water for our tea and I'm just making one cup for me, all right? So I got one cup of water. Now, next up, we have our ginger. Now, I'm just using fresh ginger here and by the way, the best way to store it at least what I do is I just take it and I place it into a Ziploc bag, take the air out of it, and then keep it in the crisper drawer. It'll keep pretty well for about up to a month, so that's great. If you're gonna use your ginger right away, you can leave it out on the counter for maybe up to a week, and that's fine as well. Next up, we'll need some lemon juice. Well, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of lemons and they were gonna go bad, so what I did was is I juiced all of them, poured them into an ice cube tray, and put it in the freezer and then I popped all those cubes out into a Ziploc bag and I keep it in the freezer. So I have fresh lemon juice whenever I need it. So that's what I have here. I'm adding a little bit of fresh orange to this recipe. I like to use my, I have a couple of little oranges laying around, so I'm gonna use those. This time of year, you know, we have the uh, coronavirus pandemic and I'm trying not to go out to the store, so I'm using what I have and you should do the same. Once that's over and we can go back to shopping like normal, feel free to follow this recipe exactly and you'll love it. Next up is some fresh basil. Now we need a sweetener for our tea or not, depending on your taste. But I like to sweeten my tea just a bit and so I'm using date paste. I have a video for you on how to make it if you like to use that. It's a great sweetener because it has lots of vitamins and minerals and it has some fiber, so it's all good. Way better than regular sugar, in my opinion. Uh, so if you want to know how to make that, it's really simple. Basically, all you're doing is boiling some pitted dates in some water and you're blending it up in a blender and adding some of that liquid back in and you've got a beautiful paste that you can use for many, many recipes. If you don't want to use date paste, another good alternative is maple syrup. You can use that easily. It doesn't uh, elevate your blood sugar either, so that's why I like it. All right, so I'm just gonna pour my water into a saucepan, and of course you can make as much of this as you want, obviously. Now, as a rule of thumb, you wanna use about a tablespoon of fresh ginger per cup of tea, so that way you can make as much as you want, right? Just, just keep that in mind. That's just a nice amount that uh, you get a nice you know, flavor from. Now, as far as I've rinsed this, already and kind of you know rubbed it and you know cleaned it up a bit you can either leave the skin on sometimes I'd leave it on because I'm going to use a strainer to strain my tea anyway so the skin won't be in there uh, some people like to, to uh, you know peel it so you can use a potato peeler like I'm doing here or you can use the back of a spoon Then you want to slice your ginger as thinly as you can. That way you get more surface area into your tea and it just it gets more of the nutrition out of it. And I just estimate how much a, you know, a tablespoon is so you don't have to be perfect about it. But usually it's around a one inch slice of fresh ginger, but again, that depends on how thick that piece is, right? All right, so we'll place that right into our pan. Now I'll take my orange and I'm gonna use my citrus press here and we're gonna just press that juice right into there. You know, it's approximately maybe one to two tablespoons. Here's our lemon juice that is already melted. I'm gonna to toss in my basil leaves. I got a couple of them here. They're starting to turn a little bit, but that's okay. I have them and I love using them. And then the date paste or maple syrup. I'm gonna place, you know, about a tablespoon. It just depends on how sweet you like it. We're gonna place this now on the stove and we'll bring this to a boil. 
So we want to bring this just to a boil like you see here and then we're going to lower the temperature down to low and we just want to simmer it for five to ten minutes. Usually I just go five, that seems to be enough for me. All right, now we're ready to just strain the tea. I'm just going to pour it into this dish here so that I can pour it into my serving dish easier. Now the tea looks a little bit cloudy only because of my using the date paste. If you were to use maple syrup, you wouldn't have that as much of a cloudy look to it. And here we go, we'll just pour it into the glass and take a taste. All right, let's give this a taste. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit because it does separate, like I said, from the uh, date paste. But, uh, mm. that is delicious. I love the orange in there. It really gives it a nice little bright flavor. The basil comes through. I hope you guys will try this. It is delicious. Stay healthy. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how you liked it. And uh, maybe check out some more of my videos. I have a couple of them right down here. Go ahead and click on those and uh, see what you think. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.